Hi folks, nice from onandroid.com where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, today we're gonna go ahead and use Firewater to get S off on HTC uh, 1X I got here, but this method should work on most of the HTC devices so long as you have a Qualcomm chip. Um, it's not gonna, it's probably not gonna work on the regular HTC One, but it should work on the AT&T 1X which has a Qualcomm chip and also the International 1XL. Also, it should work on all of the HCC1 M8, M7. Now, for the newer devices, you don't really need S-Off. The only reason why you would get S-Off is to uh, be able to upgrade bootloader manually, um, also the radio. Uh, but uh, for installing custom ROMs, you don't need S-Off for newer HCC1, so that's why I don't really recommend it. But you can use this method, it's pretty safe to do. Um, the reason why I'm getting S-Off on my AT&T 1X is because uh, with the older HCC devices, uh, if you don't have S-Off, um, when you flash a new ROM, you have to actually connect it to your computer and then uh, flash the kernel using Fastboot, which can be a pain in the butt. Um, so that is why I did it on my AT&T One X here. Um, so let's go ahead and get S-Off on my HCC device. Uh, th again, this should work on most of the HCC devices. Let's go do this, baby. <sighs> Hi folks, so let's go ahead and do this. This should work on any HTC device that's based on Qualcomm, um, such as AT&T One X. It's not gonna work on uh, the regular One X because it's not, uh, this chip is not Qualcomm. So uh, it should work on most of them. So let me go ahead and do this. Uh, first, you'll need to have a rooted phone. Uh, make sure you have a phone that's rooted. I have a, just a CM11 here that's rooted. And then go ahead and connect it to, oh, whoops. Uh, make sure to go into settings and USB debugging is checked on. Um, if you don't see developer options here, go to about phone, hit the build number a bunch of times until it says uh, you have enabled development settings. Then go ahead and hit the back button, go to developer options, uh, and make sure Android debugging is checked on. Hit OK, and then connect it to your computer uh, via micro USB cable. All right, and let's go to our computer. All right, next you'll need to download fastboot.zip. Go ahead and download the fastboot.zip. I'll have links where you can get it. Go ahead and extract all files. And then you'll get a folder called uh, fastboot folder with all the files you need. Next, you'll need to go to the site uh, firewater, firewater-soft.com. Um, go to instructions, download, and go ahead and click on download firewater. This will download the firewater. Uh, once firewater has been downloaded, um, go ahead and find the file, the Firewater here. And you're gonna copy it into the Fastboot directory. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy it into the Fastboot directory. We're all ready to go. Um, this will work if you have Windows, Mac, or Linux. If you're using Windows, go ahead and go to start search, type CMD to open a command prompt. Uh, for Mac or Linux, you can go ahead and uh, open up um, um, you can go ahead and open up a terminal. If you don't know how, please Google it. Also for Windows, you do have to have it, uh, drivers installed. If you have drivers installed correctly, you should see my HCC. If you don't see that, go ahead and download the HCC drivers and install it. Just double click and run it. Uh, unplug the USB uh, and plug the micro USB back in and you should get my HCC or something like ADB interface. Um, if you see that, you're ready to go. For Mac or Linux, you don't need drivers, so you can skip this step. All right, once here, we're gonna go into this directory. Go ahead and type cd downloads, space, and then go ahead and type cd fastboot, space. And we're gonna go ahead and type adb reboot. All right. All right, you may have to set uh, the USB debugging here. Go to your phone, if it says offline, make sure you hit okay, all right? All right, try adb devices. Uh, after doing that, you should see device. If you see that, you're good to go. Type adb reboot. All right, and this will reboot your phone. And while that's going, go ahead and type all of this. Um, just copy and paste all this, ADB space wafer device space push firewater space uh, and hit enter, data local TMP. You can go ahead and copy and paste it. Do this before it completely reboots, okay? And my phone is rebooting right now. And here we go. Give it a second here. 
All right, make sure you go to your phone. Um, it's gonna ask you allow USB debugging. So make sure you hit say okay. All right, and you'll see that uh, push firewater has worked there. Next, you're gonna type adb shell space, I mean enter, and then type su. All right, this will turn into a, uh, ah. You may have to enable root um, if you're using a custom ROM like mine. Uh, go ahead and go back into uh, developer options and make sure root access is checked for apps and ADB. All right, and we'll try this again. All right, go ahead and type SU. All right, now you got SU there. And go ahead and type all of this. You can simply copy and paste it. Uh, chmod, this basically makes the firewater uh, executable. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and run the firewater. So go ahead and copy and paste the next, the last command. All right, and say yes. And uh, this is actually my first time doing it. Hopefully, it'll give me uh, S off on my AT&T One X. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because this device, uh, especially the One X, when you flash custom ROMs uh, without S off, you will have to uh, actually flash the boot image via fast boot. Uh, but having S off, you won't have to do that. You'll be able to do everything and flash ROMs on your phone. Not with the newer devices, the HTC One M7 and M8. You don't really need S off. I don't actually recommend it. Um, but you absolutely want to, you can get S off on those newer devices. The only reason why you would want S off is to uh, have the ability to flash new bootloaders, uh, new radios and stuff. But otherwise for custom ROMs, you don't really need it, need S off. So here we go. The first bottle is open chugging. And I'll probably skip all of this. Whoa. My device is S off, it says. That's pretty cool. So let's go check it. Um, let me go check it. I'm gonna go also do this on my uh, EVO 4G LTE, which is cool. So let me go ahead and change the camera angle real quick. All right, the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and reboot into my bootloader. Uh, most HTC d devices go ahead and power off. Hold down volume down and the power button and you'll be able to get into bootloader. It's for all the 1X HTC One. Uh, most of them. If you don't know how, try Googling it if it's different for your device. But it's usually volume down and the power button. Hold it down until you see the bootloader menus. And boom shakalaka. I've got S off. Finally. So this method should work on all the HTC devices with Qualcomm. Um, some, of the, some of the devices it should work on is uh, like HCC Evo 4G LTE, uh, HCC One obviously, all the HCC Ones, um, also Desire 601, and uh, this one isn't actually listed, but I tried it and I got S off. So it should work on most of the HCC devices with Qualcomm, and there you go, you can now get S off on many of the HCC devices using Firewater. And thanks so much for watching this video. As you can see, I've got S off on my AT&T One X. Um, this is gonna be really saving me time when I'm flashing new ROMs. I won't have to connect it to my computer anymore. Um, also, if you have HCC One, when the new bootloader comes out, you'll be able to flash it uh, without having to unroot back to stock firmware. So that's the beauty of it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, don't forget to hit that like button. And as always, stay yeah. on Android.